Hello everyone and welcome to today's Daily Trade Watch brought to you by The Live Trade Room. Now today is Tuesday the 21st of August. So we're obviously coming to the latter parts of the summer trading hours. Um, so without further ado then, uh, let's firstly start with our risk warning. Please do uh, familiarize yourselves of course with the risks involved in trading these financial markets. Okay, so let's get straight in and discuss some high probability trading opportunities that we can utilize for the day ahead. Now, for this, we'll get up our trading platform. So as you can see, this currently up on screen, and we've identified three different trades. So they're all dollar related markets, and two of them are dollar weakness trades, and one of these trades is a dollar strength trade. Now, I do want to explain the reasons for that. So so when we look at, we're going to start, and, and the first potential market that we're looking to trade at for the day uh, would be the dollar yen. So uh, what we want to identify is the, the 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 trend of this market, and as things currently stand, it's very much to the downside. So um, like we've discussed with all of our traders, we we've reached the high, and now we've created a series of lower highs. Uh, just in at these levels in here, um, and we we can also see quite clearly uh, lows and lower lows. So now we are currently at, at that level, um, just below, and it's also a weekly low as well, below the one ten ten. Now the only caveat we have to that is that we have the one ten hundred, which is uh, just below this level, um, which today's market literally bounced off that level. Uh, the one ten zero one. So effectively, we'd be looking to sell this market if we get some continuation below the one ten hundred level. So, um, so that's the first market we're looking to trade, uh, and we'll 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 register it with uh, an intraday level on this chart, so you can see it very very clearly. Um, right. So that's the level to the downside. That's the dollar yen. Right, the second market, which again is focusing on dollar weakness, um, would be the dollar CAD. Now, we're, we're kind of seeing the beginnings uh, of a bit of a, a, trend, a move to the downside, so we can put a effectively a bit of a, an upper trend line uh, just in here at these levels um, and a lower trend line uh, sort of in at these levels in here. So you can see that, that again, we've got this series of... Um, opportunities where this market is making uh, lower highs uh, and as you can see lower lows so it's quite a straightforward idea really is to, to expect continuation at least down to the 129.83 um, which would give us an opportunity of a decent trade down to that level beyond that level we don't know because this this level here is the potential to hold up the market so we might see the market held up at that level um, but as far as a tradable opportunity is concerned, um, if we get to see some continued weakness coming into the dollar, then selling the dollar CAD could be a good opportunity, uh, but only below uh, yesterday's low of 130.39. So that's the important level just to go in there, 130.39. So there you go. So that's uh, our trade idea if we start to see some weakness come into the US dollar. Now, if we start to see some strength coming into the US dollar, then we're looking at the 73.38 as a potential level to sell this market from. Now, it's a little bit of an unusual trade for us. Uh, what we don't wanna see is continuation above uh, today's high, which uh, precisely is the 73.43 level. So if we do get continuation above that level, and we look across the other dollar pairs and the dollars weakening across the board, then it's a strong focus on the dollar yen and the dollar CAD uh, and looking to sell those markets. And we'll take this opportunity off the, the radar. But let's say we start seeing some strength come in to the, uh, to the uh, US dollar and we'll see this little rollover coming in. And don't forget, we do have major news in the early hours uh, of this morning coming in. Uh, which has the potential to impact the Aussie dollar as well. So there is a sort of a medium potential opportunity here uh, for the dollar, the 
Aussie dollar if we start seeing some strength come into the US dollar. Um, however, if we start seeing weakness, then it's clearly the dollar yen to the downside and the um, the dollar CAD to the downside as well below yesterday's uh, daily low. So that's the trade plan really uh, for the day ahead. So uh, so that just about concludes today's daily trade watch. So please do feel free to connect with us through YouTube. Uh, simply search for at the live trade room and uh, you'll be able to join us there and subscribe for our live trade rooms um, and other posts and useful content. And we'll also have a Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, which you can uh, you can see the details there currently up on the screen. So uh, all that's left for me to do now is to thank you very much for joining us. We do look forward to seeing you next time. So from everyone here at the Live Trade Room, take care and we'll speak soon. Bye for now.